Becoming a professional photographer involves more than just learning the fundamentals. The best photographers in the world are able to find beauty and express it through their photography. Welcome to Shutter Speed Photography Challenge. Everybody here is so unique and diverse and they're really amazing at what they do. A show where photographers compete to earn their place amongst the masters. Looking forward to seeing how close I can get to it. I've never done this before, so this is going to be really exciting. Out of six contestants, only one will walk away with the grand prize. I am determined to win, and I'm going to do whatever I can to get to the end. A free spot on Mark Hemmings and James Wilson's San Miguel Photo Workshop in beautiful Mexico. I'm Mark Hemmings, and this is Shutter Speed Photography Challenge. Photographers, we're at challenge number four. Before photography came on the scene, there was the still life, illustration, or painting. Artists would go to great lengths to create stunning compositions with the best light. This was carried over into the art of photography. And today, product photography and still life are an essential skill for every photographer. Today's guest evaluator is no stranger to the art of product and still life photography. Her name is Kelly Lawson, and I'm really pleased to welcome her to Shutter Speed Photography Challenge. In today's challenge, you'll be photographing Yip Cider products. You'll have one hour to take the photo, to edit it, and present it back to us. You will be evaluated on composition, lighting, and editing technique. Your photos should be magazine ready. The winner of today's challenge will be named best in product photography. And the photographer who fails will discover what failure tastes like, bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Photographers, your one hour starts now. Here we are at Yip Cider. Um, not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this one yet, but I think today's gonna to be a challenge for me. My thought process is to capture the whole idea behind uh, the product, where it comes from, a little of the history, and uh, the current uh, status of what the place is. I had this vision, and I was really excited about it. And then I get there, and it's just not quite what I was expecting. You know, there's a lot of space to work with. There's a lot of different lighting situations with the light coming through the trees. And I really had to kind of figure it out on the fly. My original idea is uh, not really coming together with this light, so we're going with the flow. <laughs> now that I'm here, I have an idea in mind. I don't know if it's gonna work out or not, but we'll see what happens. I'm trying to find a position to hang it where there is some stuff in front of it and some stuff behind it. As soon as I got this can in the air, the apples fell to the ground. Oh no, my apple! <laughs> The plus side, my composition is much simpler now, so should be easier to edit, I guess. <laughs> I think I have the gist of it now. With product photography, it's all about the details, so I wanted to get all the details right, but finding the right spot in itself really took uh, some time, so that definitely put the pressure on. It's very much a ambitious, cross your fingers and hope and pray that it works out. <laughs> Wes, the apple has fallen from the tree. You must feel nervous. I walked over and I saw apples falling. Now tell me what's going on. Are you in trouble? There was going to be an apple hanging slightly in front of the can here, and I don't know. So what's at stake is Mexico. It's the San Miguel Photo Workshops. That is a lot to consider. Now there's only three of us. It's, it's so close that it's, uh, it's nerve wracking. <laughs> the stakes are high all of a sudden. OK, I want to give you all the time you need. So until that deadline, keep shooting. Thanks, Mark. Okay, talk soon. Hi, Sam. How's it going? Hey, Kelly. Not bad. So what do we have here? What's the idea? What's the concept? I'm absolutely loving the light that I'm getting naturally. So 
that's a huge bonus because I don't often work with artificial light. And so I'm gonna add the pouring of the cider into the glass. You know, I don't do a lot of product photography, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but I think it's a cool idea. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Sometimes we have happy accidents in the world of product We're going for it. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, Paul, how's it going? It's going good. So this is the fourth challenge. There's only one more. Have you thought any about the final challenge? If I get through this one, then I'll think about that one. So if you make it there, who would you want to go up against? I, that's a great question. They're both great photographers, but very different styles. It would just be fun to finish with either of them. Yeah. Okay, well, good luck, Paul. Thank you so much. I'm feeling very nervous. I have to pour it properly, uh, angle up, everything has to be right. So I feel like I'm being pretty ambitious with this one. I need some apples in this shot. Oh, this is terrifying. Okay, we're going for it. The phone shot may be a better angle because of positioning than this one, because I can't seem to get what I need to. So, uh, yeah. Come on, apples, stay where you are. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're at the very end of apple harvest season and uh, they are all very willing to fall out of the trees. And I have lost some light since I started moving things around. Ah, yeah, see, I missed it. <laughs> ah! I started this with my cell phone and I got the framing that I like, but now that I'm using my camera, it's not quite working out the way that I hoped it would go. I'm just kind of seeing my, what my options are here. I can't hold that straight, can I? Yes, I can. Well, it's been a surprising struggle getting this can into the tree, but it's up here now and uh, it's time to get the shot. Oh my God, this is stressful. Based on the time limit that you have, you could spend that much time just getting things in position. My heart is racing. <laughs> oh, that was so stressful. Photographers, your photo time is now up. It's time to start editing. I'm starting to realize the choices that I made and the difficulties that they're creating at this stage. I've got like eight pictures that I really like, so I'm trying to narrow down. The calling is often the hardest part, but with the time crunch, you gotta just go with your gut. And I'm just trying to like take a few minutes here to make sure I made the right choice, but it's definitely, it's definitely a challenge and I'm feeling the pressure. Well, I didn't manage to capture what I wanted to capture, but the advantage there is that simplified my composition. So I have less work to do now, but it's not exactly as interesting as I wanted it to be. Kelly, are you ready for possibly one of the hardest experiences that I've had during this competition? Now this first shot is from Sam. Tell me what you think of this shot. I'm very pleasantly surprised with the outcome here. If I could say a few things, the first thing is I, I wish I could see the origin of the liquid. The second thing is that from a product photography standpoint, with carbonated beverages, we don't like to see that much foam. Okay. Redeeming qualities. I love the creativity of having the product sitting inside a barrel of apples, just like as if it were an apple, and it gives us the context of where it came from. From a composition standpoint, I appreciate her use of rule of thirds. I love that the subject of the photo is very clear. It's very clear where the viewer's eye should go and what the subject of the photo actually is. I do agree that there needs to be the source of the flowing of the liquid, otherwise it's like, who knows what this is? What could it be? And also, I would prefer a little bit more saturation in the background trees. I love the depth of field. It's very, very, very thin. I love the, the, uh, the concept. It's, it's really good. So let's go to the next one. Now, the next one, of course, is from Wes. 
Please tell me what you think of this shot. At first glance, I appreciate what he was doing here. He was looking to get some of that lens flare from the sun through the tree leaves. I love that. I also love the creative aspect of likening the product to an apple in its place of origin on the tree tied to the branch. I think he gets points for creativity there. The thing for me that I wish was a little different is the composition. I wish that the product was at the one third mark. I almost visually want to move it over when I look at it. Uh, I agree with you. I really like this concept. This is probably one of the strongest concepts. The apple and we have the can on the trees. I would like to see more apples in the background defocused. I said that they could use Photoshop, they could do clone stamping, anything they want. I would actually clone stamp some other apples and place them in the shot. Also, the reflection on the, the metal of the can because it's rounded, it's very difficult to correct for that, but I feel it's a little bit too strong and it's actually interfering with the 35.5 milliliters. Okay, let's go to the next and last picture. And of course, this is from Paul. Let me know what your thoughts are. Well, I love how fresh, freshly picked the apples look. I love that look, the, the dewiness, the, the dew drops that we see um, on the apples themselves. In fact, I love the way the apples look so much that they are the product to me in this photo, which I'm not 100% sure what the product is or where I should be looking. There's the vintage bottle in the background, which I love. There's a whole story that goes with that. There's the Yip Cider Bar in behind. One thing that I was a little concerned about when I saw Paul shooting was that he was a little close in proximity to the product, which inevitably would mean he needed to use a wider angle, which distorts the product. And we see that that has happened here. And one last thing that I know would be a no-no in the product photography world is that a leaf is actually blocking some of the product and the text of the product. So I'm afraid that a client wouldn't be happy with that. I agree. And there's also a problem with the logo, Yip Cider. It's a little bit too tight against the yellow and that is not balanced. And indeed, the main priority of this, this concept was having the Yip popped cider prominent, but the apples are too prominent. This is why we're here. And we have three images and some tough choices ahead of us. Are you ready for that? I don't know, I guess so. I guess I have to be. <laughs> okay, well, let's put our thinking caps on. Okay. Photographers, you've made it to challenge number four through a lot of stress and strain. However, I've seen your work and I'm incredibly impressed. Best in product photography goes to... Sam. <gasps> Are you for real? Congratulations on your win. I know it was really stressful for you, but you pulled it off and your photo is really good. I thought I might be going home today. So the fact that I won, Totally blew my mind. <laughs> and now, sadly, we do have to say goodbye to one of you. And the photographer who is eliminated in today's challenge is... Paul. What I really learned from this experience, uh, I can take with me forever. And it really, I think, has expanded my ability to take photography to another level. Sam and Wes, I see a huge Mexico sign hanging above your heads. I am so much looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with in the final challenge.